she is as sweet as this <laughs> Moore's French toast. An actress, a television host, a philanthropist, a wonderful person all the way around, one of our favorite Hallmark family friends. She's here with the season finale of Meet the Peets. Welcome back, Holly Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll add s'mores in there. Holly Robinson s'mores. Yeah, I had to Pete. follow s'mores yeah. French toast. <laughs> right, not an easy. That's tough. No, That's not tough. even follow up. But you I, can do it. <laughs> it's like I blinked, and the season is uh, over, already? and no. yet so much has happened. So much in your so lives. Much. Oh, it's been great. Milestones is what? What would you say? Well, I, I think the when RJ is probably the at the nucleus of our family, yeah. right? And Word. his. He's such an amazing kid. He's so pure. He doesn't know. You know, he has autism, but like autism doesn't have him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. really this amazing kid. And he just, you know, he doesn't know how to lie. He doesn't, he's just so pure, right? So when we surprised him with his twin sister coming home to visit for their 20th birthday, yeah. that was like kicked it off in the first. Yeah episode and since then like so many things have happened it's been really awesome I like and it's how been you're something to watch too yeah you still call him a kid we're gonna have to start changing that oh no, yeah she yeah. will all, he will always be a kid to he's her he's my baby that's right <laughs> he's my baby yeah, he's my big 20 year old there's baby a song, there's a book as long as i'm living my baby you'll be yeah i'll yeah. get that book for yeah. you don't worry I'll get i know it for that you book. Too, I, think. I know it's I a great that. book so in the season finale all right it's autism awareness month this month so you guys are doing quite a bit with the holly rod foundation but in the season finale Alley, you joined forces, um, Holly Rod Foundation and American Airlines, yes. and it's something really quite spectacular. Why didn't they have this program when RJ was a little boy? So one of the most challenging times with him was flying on a plane. When you have a child with autism that's just sensorily, it's really difficult for them to travel, go through the airport, all of that. So American Airlines has a program called It's Cool to Fly American. And what they do is they take families and, and help them experience it before they actually mm -hmm. have to fly. They walk them through TSA, they walk them through the airport, they get to be on the plane, they taxi around, they don't take off, but they rev up the engines like they're gonna take off. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, like being being there with them, it's so amazing. Some of these kids have never been on an airplane, they get to experience that. And being there with RJ, who really struggled on those planes, sure. was it was crazy, it was such a full circle moment. I was like, do you remember like yeah. what this was like for you? And he's like, nope. No, don't, don't remember little, it. Yeah, yeah, but it was a tough time. You know, people are, you it, know, I, it, people are less than friendly, and it's usually because they just don't understand. They, yeah, they don't. That's why. Yeah, yeah. but see, that's why when you take companies like what American Airlines is doing right now, when you see companies get behind saying, "Listen, we need to begin mm -hmm. to um, experience this world from all different sure. through all different lenses," yeah, they begin to understand like how can we tolerate and understand? There's a compassion mm -hmm. uh, that needs to be put forth, and others need to follow. We have a clip actually of oh, what good. you're talking about. Good, good. Of these kids that they're actually experiencing what goes on at the yeah. airport. Take a look. Everybody got their tickets? Yeah. I'm gonna let you guys Thank go. You. I'm really emotional and overwhelmed watching these families show up for this program. Jonathan's going on a plane for the first time. You just can't get a better hands-on experience than this. You get a chance to deal with the process of walking through TSA and security. The sounds and the crowds of an airport can just be completely overwhelming for a kid with autism. They can go on sensory overload. Are you ready? Oh, he is ready. <laughs> but if they have an experience of having done it a couple of times, it makes it a little easier. Can I take you up on Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your first interview, Ray. The first time I ever went through security when I was very little, I was used to touch the sides all the time, and I set an alarm off through the whole airport. <laughs> <laughs> you sure did. Woo! The TSA was like, I was running after RJ. And it was, you know, there's so much more awareness now. Yeah. That was back in yep. 2000. And, and nobody American is making that. such a difference with this. So. Are there other airlines that are doing this or just I American? I think so, but no one is like this uh, yeah. I, that I know of. I'm sure other airlines are doing this. But so shout out to Hallmark Channel for allowing us to, you know, embrace right. this partnership and show everybody. Yeah. Well, the Holly Rod, shout out to Holly Rod Foundation as well. I know. By the way. Well, you guys I mean, let's be honest. You you have a lot to do with why people are so educated to this day because you started very early and you said, I will make the world aware of what's happening. Yeah. You well, did, and you've made such a difference. Well, you guys have heard Rod me Foundation. tell the story a million times when RJ was diagnosed at three, that never day when they said he would never do all these things. Yeah. And, you know, now he's driving, he has a job. These are, these are stories we wanted to document, and showing that on Meet the Peets, I think, gives families hope for their kids. Sure. That's true. Sure. Now, you know, with the Holly Rod Foundation, you guys do so much. What, what yes. else is coming up? Oh, well, we've got the Stella oh, and Dot. Right. Oh, and Look, you're still wearing your 
Yeah. So this is the the Stellan Dot Bracelet. Every so Autism Awareness Month, every April, we have this partnership, and we have raised just on this, these little bracelets alone over the last five years, five hundred thousand dollars. So really, wow. It's, yeah. Wow. wow. So definitely go and check out. I think on your website we have some information. Yep. But you still have time to get the bracelets It's for the rest of the month of April. They're perfect for festival season. Totally. All the kids at Coachella will want one of these. Yes. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah. So while we're running out of time on season one, yeah. what are we looking forward to season two? Oh. Oh, Mark. You know? Well, I do know this. I know what's happening in our lives. Ryan, our daughter who's at NYU, is going to go study abroad. So oh. she's going to go to Berlin. Oh, how do you feel about that? Oh. <laughs> I'm stressed. There'll be wine. There'll be lots of wine. Yeah. You, I um, think we'll have to take a trip over, maybe. I think so, yeah. Deb. I think so. We're going to have to go to take her to Berlin, Berlin, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, my mama is moving to Palm Springs, and you know she's, you know, no, she's starting fabulous. her next chapter, looking for a man at 82. It's a, <laughs> it's a whole thing. Um, I think there's a dating app for that. Yeah, there is. There <laughs> is, and she, she's amazing. And uh, you know, the family's just growing, and I'm excited to tell the next. Pete plots, you know. Well, RJ will be what 21 then, and he may not like to be called your baby. Oh, he will always he, be her baby. He will always be <laughs> yeah. my baby, Mark. Just like that gorgeous little daughter yeah. of yours. Yeah. No, she will always be my baby. Exactly. She will always. I don't care. Yep. That's Do not miss the season finale of Meet the Pete's. It's Sunday, 10:9 Central. Of course, you can find it right here on Hallmark Channel.